Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll teach you that how can you secure yourself if you are paranoid about your security? How can you fully encrypt your files, encrypt your password the most proper way? Because recently I met a person and he's so much into security because he runs a company and I got really inspired by him. He's really paranoid. He changed his password really often. He encrypt everything and even like he do some devil stuff with me. So he even, you know, enclosed like he don't have any open ports and stuff like there are lots of lots of security mechanism which he follows he even used tools like suri carter to just monitor any packet or any kind of activity which goes on in our servers all right so i got really inspired by him and i started to you know worry about my security too so what i'm going to do is one second all right so i'm going to install this program which is gpg or gnu pg all right that's the package name now it's uh, already installed in my system so what this do is it's a fast tool uh, for open pgp encryption so if you don't understand this mumbo jumbo it's cryptography related stuff so basically it's a privacy guard okay so what it's going to do is it's going to create a key pair okay a public private key pair which is basically everything which you need to know okay so if you don't know about cryptography you need to learn how these key pair mechanism work for your security but on a really surface level it basically uh, is that you you share your public key to anyone but you can't share your private key all right and by using this mechanism you can you know encrypt anything secure anything and let me show you like how can you generate a key pair which we are going to use to encrypt anything in our system all right any file or something so you have to type like gpg full gen key press enter and now it's going to give us the list like what kind of key you want to create now by default you can just have rsa but i have a friend who actually use eda255 something which is really modern and it is quite fast because it's only 32 bit and some people use it you can see like you can do research what algorithms is good if you don't understand just go with legacy rsa which costs you know like it's going to have more support and everything so just do one and then you can have like 4096 which is going to basically it's the more highest security like 4096 bits press enter now i don't like my key to be expired because it's a really like i don't i have a fear that you know one day if my key expired then how can i de decrypt any of the files which i have encrypted with that key so i'm just going to press zero here but you you can basically have an an expiry key all right so uh, after this let's just you know why and give some information so this is your going this is going to be your first personal gpg key if you uh, you know don't have any key for now so just give your name uh, email and then a comment uh, my personal gpg key pair now this is really important to have your personal gpg key pair and have it managed like properly safe secure backed up all right whatever so just press enter now this password is not your secret okay it's just a password to secure your private key it's an extra layer of security and you know like this key private key now public key is public so you can share it with anybody you can have it on website open it everywhere the private key is something which you can't share with anyone and even if you accidentally you know ended up sharing it uh, then you know this password have a you know it's a layer of security but again like passwords are not secure anybody can brute force attack and you know just figure out the password so this is give any junk password uh, this is like this is basically an extra layer of security. All right, so now it's uh, the program is going to you know generate. So as you can see, it's asking us to you know do some CPU intensive things. So we will get like more randomized keys, uh, which is quite funny. So now uh, the thing is that our keys got generated, and if I do do like GPG list keys, all right, and press enter, you can see this is the key pair. All right, this is the ID and we trust this key ultimately this is my name this is my you know like comment and this is like an identifier you can say and now you need to just know one thing whatever mumbo jumbo you see whatever you see in this directory so this directory is the brain of gpg this is what keeps everything like this is the data if you delete this directory your key will get lost so if i just do ls it have like a lot of stuff you don't care about it in the end of the day this key is just two things one is uh, the public key and private key now how to get this public key and private key do we need it we need it because we need to back 
this up which is really important okay so if you have to back up or you know what let's talk about backup later let me show you like how can we you know secure some secret which is like the cream portion of this video so my secret okay i sometimes sometimes watch hindi drama serial okay so this is my secret and if i just save it and i don't want to so right now anybody can just you know get it out and read it now if i just want to encrypt it so i can type like encrypt recipient all right uh, the spelling is wrong okay so here after recipient i need to type like surajaitpakswriter.com as a you know like identifier like what key i want to use because in this system you can have multiple keys if you don't know when you do package management like when you download some package uh, via pacman or something or even in apt get so the integrity of that file get verified with keys so knowing how gpg keys work is actually going to help you a lot in uh, you know software engineering because it get used everywhere internally even if you don't understand it you always use it so if i press enter it's going to encrypt okay not encrypt encrypt all right so it's going to encrypt if i do ls you can see we got like this so i had this file before like uh, you know like my secret and now we have like this gpg file if i try to get this out uh, my secret gpg it's basically mambo jumbo all right nobody can read it and you can read it but by decrypting it but not anyone else so i can just delete this file with rm or you can even shred it uh, if you want like securely delete some file okay not like this okay let's just delete it like i made a video on shred if you want you can just watch it okay so uh, basically when you do rm to delete some file you know the it's still in the hard drive it's uh, you can't see it but it's still in the hard drive okay so now uh, what we are going to do is so let's just decrypt it so gpg decrypt decrypt and then um, my secret or gpg and press enter it's going to ask for the password every time we are going to use our private key uh, gpg is going to ask for the password which is just an extra layer of security. Now, this is not my secret. This is just a password to protect my, you know, secret key. Okay, press enter. And you can see my secret now, all right. So now you wonder, okay, if if I just encrypt everything in my computer, like my passwords and stuff, and if I lose my, you know, GPG keys, what's going to happen? Now, this is a really serious question. And most people do it. Sometimes they, you know, like encrypt everything in their computer and one day they lose their laptop and they realize, okay, now they they lost their keys, basically. So how to back up your keys? Now in order to back up uh, your keys, uh, I don't know why I have like these backup. Let me just delete like, okay. So now what you can do is you can just type like GPG list key. Let's just see our keys first. All right, so this is our key and we want to back it up. Now when we back up some key, we just want the keys, okay, the private key and the public key. So let's just create a directory like GPG keys backup and go to that directory GPG keys backup and here this is type like gpg export so this export command is just going to you know like for exporting the key and just type like suraj at boxwriter.com okay if i press enter it's going to give me some mumbo jumbo and it's going to break my terminal so let me just open again and go to gpg so what was that well uh so the key is basically unreadable but you can have a human format if you type just this flag armor it's going to give us the human format of those keys okay like human readable format so if i press enter you can see that uh, this is something we can read uh, but uh, okay this is our key basically now this is a public key okay we need two keys one is public key one is private key so let's just write like redirect it into this file and have this extension it doesn't matter just to identify like okay this is a key all right so we got this public key i can cat this out so this is really important text here <laughs> all right you need to protect it actually this is not something to protect this is something you can display on the website because this is the public key okay it's supposed to be public now let's you know the real shit okay it's the real shit so export secret okay secret key uh of suraj at bugswriter.com again we have to pass like armor flag which is really important and if i press enter it's again it's secret key so it's going to ask for the password which protect our secret key 
and you can see this is the private key all right you can also call it private key or secret key doesn't matter all right so let's just write it private key async you can have any file name all right it doesn't matter so again password and now i got my public key i got my private key and this is really important so what i'm going to do is this directory here uh, let's just create a zip of it or not zip you know what i stopped using zip zip is like uh, let's use gun zip or you know tar or something so c for compress z and v for verbose this is you know what you can learn by yourself that how to uh, make a tar dot gun zip of any file all right so press enter here i got like gpg keys backup tar and i can just leave like this direct you know now this is really important here okay this file tar dot gun zip because you need to have it in cloud somewhere secure or you can have it in some drive, you know pen drive usb or you know hard drive secure but you need to have it secure all right somewhere just bury it somewhere because this it contains your private key and you need to protect your private key now suppose if you accidentally just lose your key from your computer like if you just delete some file uh, like this like not some file basically a gnu pg directory or you are in some other computer and you don't have your keys like if you type like you know list keys so now it's going to create the gnu pg directory but there is no key okay where are my keys like how do i decrypt my any secret or something well then in that case this backup can be used again like you need to restore your keys so let me show you how to do that like if you just are uh, you know like decrypt oh, okay and compress it and just go here so this is your you know public key and private key now this is like a two-step thing okay first you have to you know import your public key and then private key now i remember like once i had a backup of my keys and i only had public key backup and i tried rest restoring it i thought it's restored but it wasn't because it was just public key and no private key uh, which is the most key element of you know the key pair so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to just have like uh, like pub key dot async so this is the command to import and all the other information like comment and email and you know my name is, is present inside public key so if i press enter you can see it detected that my name and everything so if i do list keys again so as you can see we got so it looks like i got my keys back but this is just a half of the thing all right so if i do ls uh, i still have to import my secret key so gpg import secret secret uh import all right we don't have to tell secret is uh, it's going to detect all right so just gpg import and it's going to give see it's going to ask for password all right press enter and it is imported so gpg list keys and you can see that now this is the full thing all right previously if you don't import your secret key and if you try to decrypt some file it's going to give you an error that you know like you don't uh, basically no secret key find, found okay now one uh, one thing which you also might want to do is that uh, this is unknown okay so let's just you know have like type gpg edit and press enter okay edit key press enter okay edit key and then the key name and then enter so basically we want to you know fully trust this key so right now we we like the gnu pg don't know like whether to trust this key or not so just type like trust and then have this type 5 okay to have like okay i trust ultimately the, on this key press enter and uh, yes and then quit and now if you do like list keys so it's written here ultimate so we ultimately trust this key okay like fully trust this key because this is our key now this is cool like we have we had some key management we learned like how to encrypt and how to decrypt and how to back up some keys everything backing up is really important now how to you know have our passwords so one way of you know having your password secured is just you know again like just create some file like if you have a password for you know youtube or fortune for example okay uh, my password one two three save it again gpg encrypt but this is too much work all right if you are encrypting like this then you know this is not going to work so what uh, we are going to use is uh, we are going to use this program pass and what this program is going to do is so let me just show you first install it 
So in my case, like this is the package name pass in Arch Linux. And this is just a shell script which makes uh, encrypting and de decrypting our password files really simply, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type like pass. First, let me just delete if I have already any pass directory, okay? So just pass in it. Uh, after installing the pass program, you just have to type, type pass in it and tell what keys you want to use, all right? So I want to use like the my you know key pair, like my personal keys and press enter. It's going to create a password directory. And if you do ls minus a here, so you can see that, you know, like gpg id and this is the information. So pass is just a shell script. In the end of the day, it, it's going to use a very simple mechanism to save your password, which is just plain text files, which are gpg encrypted. This is the beauty of pass. So now what you can do is you can type like pass and then, um, you know, like insert some password, like four chain password and just press enter and give the password test one, two, three. And now if I go to local share pass store, you can see we got a file for chain.jpg. Now this is good. Like you can have like more passwords like this, like uh, you can have a pass uh, insert, for example, you know, Twitter or X, whatever. <laughs> okay. So again, like password and go to local share pass store. Now this is good. Like we, we, ha we are having our encrypted password. You can just type like GPG decrypt and then for chain and press enter and give it. So you can see like pass is just a shell script. It's not doing anything weird or something. It's just encrypting my simple text files in a very nice way. You can type like pass ls to see uh, your you know password store. It's a nice functionality. You can even generate a password in real time. For example, if you have like YouTube channel and you just want to have a password for it generated by pass, you can type like 14 which is length or any number basically after it so if i want to secure my channel like 18 length okay so this is the password length so it's going to create like generate a password see it generated a password it also saved it so if i go to local share you know pass store so when you are creating a new account you can use this feature it's basically going to give you a generated password and it's also going to save your password in this you know directory so I showed you how to secure your password and have it stored in a directory in your computer which in an encrypted way, but how to back it up. So in case if you lose your computer hard drive, then you know you, you need to have your password somewhere else in the cloud. So one recommended way is using Git. Okay, so yes, you can just turn this directory into a Git repo and just have it uh, anywhere. Now, of course, like don't make it public. Otherwise, people might not be able to see your password, but they can see, all right, you are making account on this site. So you can have like GitHub private repo or anything like any private repo. So I can use my own Git server. So if I SSH into git at bookswriter.com, now again, like my Git server is not private actually. Uh, I mean, I can make it private, but I'm just showing you an example. So git init where, so pass store dot git. All right, so let's just create a repo here and, and the repo is created. And now what I can do is, uh, now pass is actually so good. It gives us uh, like this functionality, like pass git. All right, so if you do like pass git init, it's automatically turn your local share pass store directory into a git directory okay and you don't okay you can use uh like git from here but you can also use like pass git so pass git and now suppose um okay we have to add a remote okay remote uh add origin uh so now now we let me just give the remote like bugswriter.com and pass store.git all right so now the remote is added so whatever passwords we have right now i can just push it so pass git push okay not git pass git push so it's confusing a little bit for me so yeah so after that uh, we have to give like origin and if you press enter it's going to ask like okay so we have a remote but that is not a upstream remote like so we are going to set this a upstream remote and just give the master so I hope that you already know Git, how to use Git, okay? And now if I go to like my browser and just open git.bookswriter.com and search for like pass store. So you can see that uh, we, we are getting these commits here. If I go to tree, we got all the passwords. Now one thing what you can do is, um, all right, so we are backing up. So if I just create a new password, like for example, pass generate or pass insert, for example, Apple. Okay, why I'm using these 
companies like demonic companies okay just press enter and now just okay any any password like all right one two three four five six and now as you can see the commit happened automatically all right so i can just type like pass git push and we don't have to worry about like committing stuff all right so if i refresh we got apple.gpg here now one last thing is that if you go to pass store you can actually do things in a better way so for example you can have like uh, pass um you know like insert and then have a work email in a work directory so if you press enter again some password press enter if you go to local share pass store you can see we got a work directory here and inside that we got email and you can have it in a multiple like in a much better way like pass insert work slash company one and slash like uh, you know email and then one two three four five six and local share pass store basically yeah you it's it's a very like it's just directory it's just gpg encrypted uh plain text files like pass is just a shell script it's not it's it's not doing anything fancy okay and again like git pass git add like uh, push and that's it like you okay i have to type password but otherwise that's it all right we got like work directory so sometimes what you can do is you can actually manually manage like uh uh, your structure instead of relying on pass you can just have like a directly accounts you can move all the gpg into accounts all right and in that case you can you know just do things by normally like you can manage your git repository without pass okay so git rm and dot so you can just remove like git status git add accounts git commit directory management directory management all right and git push so you can you don't really have to rely on pass you can do it manually by yourself all right what what happened okay oh sorry yeah now if i refresh you can see oh i accidentally put where the work work directory go all right i don't know what i did i, I accidentally messed something up so but you got the point right and uh, if you want to see my setup like work writer pass store so I have this private repository. I'm not going to show you the, you know, I'm not going to click any of these directory, but this is how I separated my accounts, like accounts, finance related stuff, fun, job, tech related, work related, okay? So that is it, yeah, this is how you can use pass. And by using pass in GPG, you can basically protect anything, pass for password management. It's a, just a shell script. Main core stuff is GPG. I hope you get it. Back up your GPG keys somewhere safe all right and that's it that's the videos did i really just forget that melody right na 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 when i popped off then your goal gave me just a little bit of luck doll baby so cold he from the north he's from the canada don't go so long i got my fingers that i can't withdraw run out the door i shine my wrist and go like sha 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 i'm not